Hey, welcome back. So I was thinking today I would play with this uh, item in Team Fortress 2, you know, free to play game on Steam, maybe you've heard of it. Pretty stupid item if I'm gonna be honest. Pretty much lets you stay invisible forever as long as you're not moving. That's, the, the, the downsides don't even matter at that point, you know, why would they? We're just gonna jump into a casual game and stay invisible for as long as possible try and not get killed, and simultaneously just watch what the enemy team does and what my own team does in return. Maybe we'll see some interesting moments, probably not. Usually what happens when you do something like this is uh, you will get kicked from the game, and if we get kicked from the game, then, uh, I don't know, I'll open up a CSGO case. But the first real battle in uh, Team Fortress 2 casual queuing is actually looking for a game that's gonna let you connect to it. And there's the match. Ladies and gentlemen, join now. Alright, looks like we're gonna join a game of Upward. Uh, we are on the defending team, which actually makes it pretty nice for us. We're gonna jump down here, go around to the left over here, and actually just watch the cart. It looks like it's gonna get completely abandoned by the scouts. Jump over here. Hello there. He's not gonna notice us. A little ugly man on the cart. Pretty cool guy. Pretty cool rap man. Uh, we're gonna jump over here though. Come over to the corner and just give a nice little view. Oh, it's a flog pyro, you know, you always love to see those, you know. Anyway, we have this uh, sniper over here. I'm gonna jump on his head. <laughs> He's confused. He might end up killing us here, because that pan does crit, actually. Anyway, we're just gonna go down here, I think. Oh, looks like the engineer is uh, coming back, having a look over. Whoa, look at this heavy, dude. This is disgusting. Banana corn? I'm sorry, but this looks disgusting. This is horrible. Uh, okay. I think we're just gonna take down the teleporter. Just to give us some points, you know, so it doesn't look like we're doing nothing on the team. This engineer is gonna be a little bit confused. Uh, he'll place down a telly and we're gonna shoot it instantly. Uh, having a look around. Uh, he's gonna place another one and we're gonna break it. <laughs> Let's see if he places down another teleporter. Is that the engineer? I think it is. He just said, can you uh, F off? Uh, I gotta watch my language, <laughs> excuse me. So it looks like we're in the next game. Three points, you know, it's more than three others on our team that just joined, so hopefully we won't get kicked this game. Okay, it looks like uh, we have gentlemen over here uh, uh, flipping some people, uh, paper scissors rocking, do a backflip and uh, we're gonna kill that guy and... Uh... Okay, so now that we're invisible, we're just gonna jump out the main exit, hopefully not getting killed here. Uh, run past that obvious spy. And uh, I think this will give us a nice little viewpoint, I suppose, uh, onto everything else. Here's Birdie, he's a sentry, he's an engineer, here's a sniper, he's a soldier, uh, and that's a spy actually, it's pretty cool. So uh, it looks like the sentry will actually go down there, so uh, that's pretty cool. You know what they say about an engineer? If there's an engineer alive, it means the teleporter is a good, like, whatever. Where on earth is this teleporter, you know? That's, that's what I want to know. Wait a second, I know exactly where it is. It's right below me. Yeah, I had a feeling. Uh, watch them telefrag me. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna bring his sentry back up. This will give us a perfect opportunity to take down the teleporter. It's always handy to take out the teleporter. It does slow up the enemy team's um, spawn rate, I suppose, uh, getting back to the front lines. We're gonna kill this sniper to help out our team. The only reason I'm actually helping the team is just so they don't kick me. Uh, that happens way too often. But all you have to do is get like seven points or so and then uh, they won't kick you at all. They'll actually think you're like trying to help even though you're probably just bad at the game. So this heavy is a little bit confused on what he's supposed to be doing. He's gonna get destroyed though. Jesus, is he using the kunai? Yes, he is. He is using the kunai. All right, I lose all respect for this spy. It's hard to, to, to respect a spy that uses a knife that literally heals you upon stab. Anyway, back into the regular match. Uh, we have a team going on right now. Oh my god, this guy's gonna come straight back in, actually. He's gonna get killed, though. Oh, a nice little uh, backstabby stab. Here we have Ra Ra going for another trick stab. Hello, sir. We're just gonna run up here and uh, jump on this rock, you know, as you do. The cool thing about Sniper is he pretty much just sits behind his teammates and, uh, you know, fires from a safe distance, I guess. Nugget Slapper putting in work, as you can see, with every single shot of his not getting a single kill. But you know, who am I to judge, you know? I'm just sitting here doing nothing, so... And he's got- whoa, sir. Uh, interesting placement for your, uh, sentry gun, Mr. Rat. Ah, he's just, uh, upgrading, it looks like. What if I just- 
Okay. This is why you don't help your team, because uh, you get shot, you know? That's what happens. I'm gonna jump on the barrels over here. See, this is what a, a terrific defense looks like, okay? It looks like a ski is gonna actually take one for the team and push the cart beneath ground. But I think we're just gonna jump up on this rock over here. Oh, there's a teleporter. Jump up on this and uh, let's get a nice little scope around. Sentry down. Level 3 could definitely go down as well. Okay. So uh, something you can actually do in this game, which is pretty cool, you can actually um, taunt and you can use the third person angle to see around corners. And in doing so, get uh, easy cheap kills. Uh, would I recommend doing this? Uh, no. It makes you an actively worse player the more you do it, you know. I'm a living proof that this is true. But it looks like the entire enemy team is actually just dead right now. Kate Go is coming in uh, with a sentry, I guess. Please don't run. Please don't run. Thank you. Now, if the cart gets pushed all the way to the next point, uh, I'll open up a CSGO case. Please actually don't get there. I'm literally broke right now. That's a flog pyro. Okay, we're just going to go run over here instead, and uh, we're just going to jump off the cliff. So I think we're just going to queue up for another game. Oh, god, it's payload, but yeah, at least it's a different map. Okay, uh, it looks like a pretty small game, but uh, the game has just started. So the one spot everyone likes to go to is uh, this little corner. They like to pretend like uh, no one ever checks that corner. Of course, you'll see a pyro goes up there doing a taunt. That is such a furry name. Yeah, uh, that's why no one likes furries. Anyway, uh, good thing a teleporter was set up. Ooh, actually, uh, pro tip 101 if you're a team member. I set up each other's teleporters uh, because it's what a nice person would do. For as little as I'm actually helping my team as spy, uh, the least I could do is help out leveling up a teleporter. So we're going to go invisible straight away, and we're just going to go up onto this little area. We're going to watch our team get destroyed. Whoa, that's a, a big hat. Never mess with a guy with a big hat, you know? Oh, we're just gonna make our move into this building over here. Go around this corner. Wow, a teleporter is still set up. Okay. And uh, this is a spot no one ever checks because, you know, why would you? Whoa. He almost got me, but uh, he just missed. Okay. The only issue with that is um, you can actually just snipe it in between these crates over here and you can pretty much just waste their time. Anyway, now that we're wasting their time and they're going to get a little bit annoyed at us, we can just make our move over here instead. Oh, he, he was coming after us. He, he knew there was a problem. Ooh! Okay. Oh, that's a demo night. Surely don't see us. Surely don't see us. Okay, now that we're back out in this little area, uh, we can get back to our little uh, uh, trolling as it was, you know? Okay. Alright, fantastic. Oh, and uh, they waited too long, so neither of them got that. Oh, they set up another teleporter, huh? I'm about to uh, ruin that for them. Surely not. We're just going to make our way over here instead, I think. Pyro? Keep searching, surely. Hello? Oh, he's using the kunai and he's using the ambassador. Oh my god. Probably using the dead ringer as well. Spy means in a nutshell, honestly. Hello, sir. Let's see if he heard that. <laughs> this guy is like really searching. We got a spy. There's a spy over there. He's still looking. Okay, I think he's leaving now. Oh, he's. Alright, there we go. He saw us, right? He hears us. He's got his headphones turned all the way up. So does this guy. <laughs> they see us! Oh my god! Alright, we're down here now. He saw us! <laughs> he smacked us too! See, this is the cool thing about the uh, the cloak and dagger. It's it's like, Dead Ringer is, is just annoying to verse, because it's like a second chance at everything. But the cloak and dagger is just made to piss people off. the noise people turn their back straight away when they hear a decloak ah oh, this is fantastic this is the best item in the game see <laughs> hello come back oh you almost got me this guy he's he's really standing still yeah i think he wants me to decloak so he can take a shot at me 
but the entire team is going to run past me. Hello, Ning Ning. <laughs> nice shot. Unfortunate. We'll just go over here instead. So we're not make. Oh! <laughs> So, uh, that was a loss on our team, but uh, it was a win in my book. Uh, I think we're just going to end it there. I uh, don't know what to expect from this, so, um... Uh, yeah, kind of a shit skin. <laughs>